Hello friends, hope all of you are doing well. In today's session, we are going to continue our journey on literary criticism and theory, that is your MEG 5 paper. Basically, this is the 17th lecture in this regard. Prior to this, I have covered 16th more lectures on this particular subject. And the first three blocks of MEG 5 has been discreetly covered. So in case you have not watched those videos, do go ahead and watch those videos in order to understand the proper chronology of this entire lectures. Now, in this particular session, we are going to discuss a very important point from Block 4, that is the New Criticism, Eliot's view of the relationship between the individual poet and the tradition. Now, before I get started, an earnest request to all my viewers that do kindly consider to watch the beautiful videos which has been narrated by me. You'll find those videos very good and very beautiful based on love, sacrifice and much more. So the link of those videos are pinned in the description for your convenience and also you can find the notes and analysis of today's lecture in the description as well. Now without any further ado, let's get started. Now in today's session, it's very important to understand the view of relationship between the individual poet and the tradition. When I say tradition, I mean literary tradition. Now, we are going to understand the relationship between the individual poet and the tradition from Eliot's perspective, okay, from Eliot's view. And this particular question can be expected in your term and examination in an essay type question as well and a short notes as well. Now, T.S. Eliot's view of the relationship between the individual poet and the tradition is a central theme in his critical and poetic works. That I'll discuss further when I discuss the examples, how it is related to his works and how the relationship which he has vividly expressed through his work. Eliot believed that every individual poet is connected to the literary tradition that came before them and that the poet's role is to both preserve and innovate within that tradition. Now, Eliot famously stated in his essay, that is the tradition and the individual talent, which was by the way first published in The Egoist in the year 1919 and later in Eliot's first book of criticism, The Sacred Wood, that was published in the year 1920. The essay is also available in Eliot's selected prose and selected essays. Now let us see what he has mentioned explicitly in this particular essay of his. He mentioned that no poet, no artist of any art has his complete meaning alone. Now this particular line has a huge significance in our today's lecture. Why? Because in this particular line he tries to explain that a particular artist of any form cannot you know individually exist all right without any tradition without any literary tradition his existence cannot be explained this means that every poet is a product of the literary tradition that preceded them and that their work is in conversation with that tradition it's a very beautiful explanation guys Eliot also believed that the poet's responsibility was not to reject the past but to use it as a foundation for their own work now let me try to explain you it in very simple words whenever we try to start any particular work let it be art or any other work what we try to do is we try to take reference from the person who has done this particular work in the past okay we've tried to trace the tradition of this particular work that we are going to employ ourselves into now that is how we start we try to start our work now the same thing has been implied by Eliot in relationship between the individual poet and the tradition now Eliot also believed that the literary tradition was not static but rather evolved and changed over time. He argued that the best poets were those who understood the tradition and were able to contribute to its evolution. Now by saying that this particular literary tradition is not static, Eliot is trying to imply that it is a dynamic process. Okay, And the best poets in his opinion are those people who are able to contribute in this particular tradition with their work so that their successors can take some inputs, some valuable inputs from this tradition and be a part of this literary tradition. Now, in the function of criticism, which is particularly an essay written by Eliot in the year and published in the year 1923, Eliot wrote, what is still more important than tradition is that the tradition should be kept alive and should be developed. For Eliot, the poet's relationship with tradition was not one of passive acceptance or slavish imitation, but one of active engagement and renewal. Now with this, Eliot is trying to explain that there is no mandatory clause which binds a particular author or a poet with this literary 
tradition rather this is an active process okay this particular tradition helps in the enrichment of the knowledge of the poets in his poetry Eliot often incorporated allusions and references to earlier works but he did so in a way that was original and innovative now I'll also give you examples of this particular work of Eliot in conclusion what we can say is that Eliot viewed the relationship between the individual poet and the tradition as a dynamic one as I've just mentioned he believed that the poet's role was to both honor and transform the literary tradition that came before them the poet was not simply a passive participant in a static tradition, but rather an active contributor to its evolution. As I mentioned in the beginning of the session that this particular topic can be expected in a essay type question for 20 marks. There you have to write your answer in between 350 to 500 words. So this much explanation won't be sufficient to get the entire credit. So what I recommend is that why not introduce the particular portion where you discuss the Eliot's writing style and try to employ that how his writing style and how his contribution in the world of literature actually signifies or actually portrays the relationship between the individual poet and the tradition. So the second part of this particular session we are going to discuss about Eliot's writing style. The T.S. Eliot is known for his unique and highly influential writing style which has had a significant impact on modern literature. Eliot's writing style can be characterized by its complexity, use of literary allusions and focus on themes such as fragmentation, disillusionment and the search for spiritual meaning in modern life. One of the defining features of Eliot's writing style is his use of literary allusion. Eliot drew on a wide range of literary sources including classical mythology, the Bible and the works of Dante, Shakespeare and other great writers. Now as I have said that Eliot was an active participant in the literary tradition. He actually took inputs from the literary tradition and deployed it in his work okay which can be visibly seen as literary allusions in his work he used these allusions to create layers of meanings in his work to establish a connection between the past and the present and to challenge his readers to engage with the text on a different and deeper another feature of Eliot's writing style is his use of fragmentation Eliot often used disjointed or fragmented images, scenes and language to convey a sense of the fragmented nature of modern life. This technique can be seen in his works such as The Wasteland and The Four Quartets. By the way, I have covered The Wasteland entirely and you can find the link of those videos in the MG1 British Poetry playlist. Now coming back to today's session, now in this particular work, Eliot combines a wide range of disparate images and ideas to create a portrait of a world that has lost its sense of coherence and meaning. Eliot's writing style is also marked by his focus on spiritual and philosophical themes. In his poetry, he often explored questions of identity, the nature of existence and the search for meaning in the world that seemed to be devoid of meaning. Eliot's work often explored these themes through a lens of religious symbolism and imagery drawing on his own experiences as convert to Anglo-Catholicism. Finally, Eliot's writing style is characterized by its precision and attention to detail. He was known for his meticulous editing and revision process, and his works are notable for their tight control language and carefully crafty imagery. Overall, Eliot's writing style is complex, challenging, and deeply rewarding. His use of literary illusion, fragmentation and focus on spiritual and philosophical themes have had a lasting impact on modern literature and his work continue to be read and studied by readers and scholars around the world. This is the video guys. I hope you had an insight about Eliot's view of the relationship between individual poet and the literary tradition. Basically in the start of your answer you have to mention two of his essays which is the tradition and the individual talent and the function of criticism. Both of them will get you some extra credit but that will not be enough to score 20 marks. So I do recommend to include the Eliot's writing style and try to relate it in reference to your answer. Also in the notes and analysis part, I do provide you the Eliot's literary career which can be also included to some part according to your convenience so that you can ensure that you score full marks. 
and anyways if you have any other doubt in this particular video do feel free to comment in the comment section i'll definitely try to address it do not forget to check out the videos which has been narrated by me in both hindi and english you will definitely love those videos and be a part of our social community pages and be updated of igno's latest notifications till we meet next time god bless you and thank you all